Good Friday evening, friends. How are you? It's just a little bit after 10 p.m. Just got home from work. And let me tell you what, this weather has my sinuses a heeing and a hauling. And I thought I'd make us some chicken noodle soup. Doesn't that sound good? I think it does. I think it'll be just what I need for a cure. So we're gonna do this in the slow cooker. Now you can do this stove top if you don't wanna do it slow cooker. But I'm gonna do it now so it cooks overnight and it's done for me. So we're gonna do one chopped onion, cut in half, put in your slow cooker or a, um, a pot. And I'll tell you about the liquid in a second. So we've got our onion. Now we've got our celery, three stalks of celery. Mine are kind of small, so I did a little bit more. And I read a thing that if you take your celery and your pillar and peel off that top layer that helps with some of the fibers of the celery. I don't know if it's gonna be true or not, but we'll find out. So three stalks of celery, if you've got big stalks. Mine were kind of small, so I did a couple extra. Chop them in half, throw them in your slow cooker or your pan. Also three peeled carrots. Now, like I said, uh, my carrots are small too. So I did a little extra. But if you got this big carrots, do three big carrots. So I've got, I did five here. I'm just gonna chop them in half. You're gonna leave them chunky like me. We're gonna do this here. All right, get these ends off. Cut them in half. Put them right in. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of the chicken flavored soup base, like a bouillon. You don't have to. Put that over there so I don't spill it. We're gonna add 32 ounces of chicken broth. That's gonna be the whole box, pretty sure. Yes. Now, if you're doing this stove top, do the same procedure, but only in your pan on the stove. And I just thought it's so late tonight, I just let this cook overnight, and then it'll be ready for me to finish off tomorrow while I'm doing chores and things around here before we go back to work. How was everybody's Friday night? I hope it was good. We, of course, were at work. We were busy as usual on Friday nights. So look at that, that smells good already. We're gonna have, we're gonna add some water. Four cups of water. So there we go. Now, if you're doing this on the stove top, add the same ingredients, the same amount of liquid. Bring it to a boil to where your veggies are soft. And then I'll show you tomorrow what we're gonna do with this. I'm gonna add chicken. So if you're doing it in the slow cooker like me, add you some chicken if you want. Just throw it in raw and let it cook with the veggies. Now I have some rotisserie chicken here that I am gonna put in the fridge to thaw out tonight and it's already fully cooked. So this is all I'm gonna do with this tonight. I'm gonna to put on my base, I'm gonna set it on high, and then I will see you tomorrow when I get ready to finish off our homemade chicken noodle soup. See you tomorrow. Good Saturday afternoon, my beautiful, wonderful, amazing friends. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Come on in. Sun is finally shining here in Southern Ohio. Yee. Oh, we've had rain upon rain upon rain. And I'm ready for the sunshine. It's still a little cool out, but I'm not going to complain because the sun is shining. Still got to go to work tonight. But at least I don't have to stare out the window at the pouring rain while I'm at work. So, recap. If you were here last night with me before I went to bed, when I got home from work, I had errands run today and I had chores, house, you know, domestic stuff to do. Brock is um, away doing some chores. So I thought with my sinuses and just bleh from this weather, I thought a nice bowl of chicken noodle soup would be amazing before we have to go to work. So last night, I thought I'd let my slow cooker do the work while I had work to do today. So if you remember last night, I put in my slow cooker here, 32 ounces of chicken stock. Now, if you wanna make this vegetarian, use veggie stock. We did four cups of water. Now, we did a whole onion cut in half. I'm going to take this, do this, and I'm going to put these veggies inside of my food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you could use an immersion blender. I have one, but I'm not gonna get it out. I'm just gonna do it like this. 
And I'm making a mess, of course. Oh, Krista. Here we go. I forget that little hole's in the middle there. I'm slopping stuff around. All those veggies are going in the food processor. You want a little bit of liquid in there. Get all this out. What are you doing today on Saturday? Hopefully you're not having to go to work like me. Hopefully you're doing something fun or relaxing or something for yourself. You should treat yourself once in a while. I used to feel guilty. I think being a mom, I used to feel guilty if I ever did anything for myself because all I was all about my kids and my family and I thought, uh, you know, shouldn't do anything for yourself. They come first. And then as I got older, I was like, if I don't take care of myself, I can't take care of them well. So even just like, to me, you know, just getting a hot bath, you know, do, painting my toenails, something like that. So I hope you're doing something amazing for yourself today. You deserve it, my beauties. You deserve it. Whether you're mom, a dad, a caregiver, you know, just overstressed from work. Do something nice for yourself today. Okay, so I've got all those veggies out there. I'm going to put my lid on this, and I'm going to um, mix this up until it's liquid. I'm going to come back and do that because it's so loud. I'll be right back. So I've poured the rest of the broth into my pan here, and here are the veggies that I've pulverized. So leave them as chunky or as watery as you want. I left mine a little chunky. left mine a little chunky. I like those little bits in there. You do you. All right. So here's how we're looking. Look at that. I'm a soup girl. So I love soup. I love the cheap canned soup. Just a little salt, a little pepper. Uh, I love the cheap soups that you get in the can. Growing up, you give me a bowl of chicken noodle soup, and I love, and I don't know why I love this combination, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with a bowl of chicken noodle soup. I was happy. So, I like soup all year long. I can make chili in August. I don't care. I like it. So, you know, I don't think there's any time frame for soup. It's a little chilly out today. I don't think it has to be, you know, only winter to enjoy a bowl of soup. Here's my rotisserie chicken that I had in the freezer that I thawed last night out in my fridge and I gave it a nice chop. I'm gonna add that in. And I may add more, I don't know, I just chopped up a little bit to see. All right, now what I'm gonna do is put this on the stove and bring it to a boil. And these are the noodles that I bought an extra wide egg noodle. You can use whatever noodles you want. This, you know, once again, it's your preference. I like a big noodle because I don't have to chase them around in my bowl. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil and we'll be right back. All right, so our magic potion has begun to boil. We're going to add in the egg noodles. This is an eight ounce bag. You know, if you have uh, more to feed, you can add more noodles, smaller noodles, whatever kind of noodles you like. We're gonna put those in. We're gonna let those cook for eight to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna come back and have a bowl of chicky noodle soup. Ooh wee. And I forgot to say, I'm gonna add a little garlic to mine. That is personal preference. This is just a little granulated garlic. That's it, be back. So our 10 minutes is up. To me, that's the perfect cook time for the noodle. We don't like a real mushy noodle, so you cook um, however long you would like. So before I serve it up, I want to do just a breakdown for you. Not a break dance, a breakdown price-wise. So this whole uh, dish here with the rotisserie chicken. So I bought a rotisserie chicken and put it in my freezer. I often do. So that expense was a little bit higher. So maybe if you cook like three to four chicken breasts, depending on how much chicken you want in yours, the cost may be a little bit cheaper. So this is eight servings, eight one cup servings. 
that equals out to $2.56 per person with the way that I made it. Ooh wee. Now this, so this is something that I like that I keep in my pantry. I looked the price up a bit, $2.18 for one can. So for one can, the price of one can of chicken noodle soup, I made a whole big pot per serving. Because a lot of times this says, this is two servings, one cup. So a lot of times I can eat this whole can. Like if this is my meal, I can eat this whole can. So price-wise, this is very economical. It's also going to be delicious. I'm sure you could freeze it with no problems. Plus, you know exactly what ingredients are in this. This has, these are the list of ingredients in this chicken noodle soup. Now, I understand, I mean, I still eat it, but I know it's a long list of ingredients. Brock and I were talking the other day about cooking things from scratch and getting away from the kind of processed foods when we can, when time allows us to. And this is one of those perfect dishes that you can do that. You can even make your whole, own homemade noodles if you have time. If you don't have time today, y'all, I gotta go to work in a little bit. Uh, so, here we go. Let's dish this up. I mean, friends, look at that. Look at that. This is about a one cup ladle, so I'm gonna give me a little bit more broth. Ooh, I cannot wait. It's gonna be so good. Let me get a spoon. I don't mess around with no teaspoon. I go in for the big girl. This looks so good. I don't even think I'm gonna need crackers. No siree. I'm just gonna taste. It's gonna be hot. We got steam coming off there. Facial two for one. Delicious soup. Soothing. Sinus relieving. Heartfelt. Belly filling. Steam facial. Mmm. Oh, friends. Friends, that's so good. Brock's gonna enjoy this when he comes home. He's been doing some outside work. It's kind of chilly outside, so I think this nice warm bowl of soup is gonna do the trick. I'm gonna put this back on the stove. I don't wanna drop it. Have you ever seen that episode of Office where Kevin spilled the big pan of chili? I love that episode. I don't wanna do that. Anyway, so here it is. Chicken noodle soup, homemade, so delicious, economical. Gonna warm me up from inside out. Make you some chicken noodle soup. I hope you have a great Saturday. Tell me what you're doing, where you're at, how you're doing. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna shut. I'm gonna stuff my face and maybe take a, a little nap or something before I have to go to work. All right, have a great day, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.